Welcome to National Sports Chat. This your man, Ken the Guru. You're now tuning in to my take. And before I give you my take, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get it. What's up? This your guy, Ken the Guru. And I want to ask a question. Does a ring mean more than the money? And the reason why I ask, because you got people like Kevin Durant. You got people like AD. You got other people who took pay cuts, like uh, LeBron James. They took pay cuts. But here's the thing. You can convince a multi-millionaire to take a pay cut. But you can't convince a billionaire to take a pay cut. I don't understand that logic. I don't understand how a billionaire can convince a millionaire to take less money when he don't take less money. I'm trying to figure that logic out because... You just had a scenario to where Houston Rockets saying, "Man, I'm not about to I'm not about to be over the salary cap. I'm not about to go and stay in the luxury cap. So, you got to get rid of Clint Capella. When money matters to them, how can they vent you to make money not matter to you?" I don't understand that logic. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure that out, you know, for the life of me. But at the end of the day, it seems to me the billionaire is more secure than a millionaire. I've seen millionaires go broke, broke. Antoine Walker, broke. I've seen that. I ain't seen no billionaire go broke. I ain't seen Floyd Mayweather go broke. I seen a person with a couple hundred million go broke. Birdman. Like I said, Antoine Walker. I've seen these people go broke, but I have not seen no billionaire become broke. No owner become broke. I just haven't seen it. But they'll tell you, oh man, you need to solidify your legacy. Man, take less money to go to the better team so you can win a championship. So you can make my pockets fatter. So I ain't got to pay you. Yes, do that. Look, man, I'm telling you, you. You will solidify your legacy if you just take this pay cut. Take $50, $50 million less. Just take this. Just take, man, take the, the $50 million less. Even though you could have used that to help secure your family's family. Take $50 million less. I don't understand that logic, you know, and I don't even want to understand the logic because if you can't convince a billionaire to take a pay cut, why would you, why would you as a millionaire take a pay cut? At the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? You, you got people that need, need your help, that ask you for help that you get mad over, you know what I'm saying, as a player because you can't help everybody, but you would turn down $50 million just to go play on the team for a championship in the ring. I don't understand that. If, if it was me, I'm staying on the team for the rest of my life. If that means I'm going to get uh, 50 million, 20 million more, you know what I'm saying, to play for that team, that's the team that I'm playing for, you know, at the end of the day. But that's all I got for now, man. I had to ask that question. How can a billionaire conv convince a millionaire to take a pay cut? I don't understand that logic, but, man, make sure y'all uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ken the Guru.